The 3-4-5 rule is something that every handyman should know. This trick is a must know and by the end of this video you'll know exactly what this rule is and just how powerful it is. When it comes to getting things to be square, it's no easy task. Our eyes aren't very good at distinguishing angles and getting something to be 90 degrees is pretty tough. So we have all sorts of tools to help us find and make things square from small to really large tools. There is a trick though that allows you to square anything of any size with just a tape measure and a marker. This is particularly useful when you have limited tools or are squaring up a vast distance that's impossible to square any other way. So what is the 3-4-5 rule? This essentially tells us that any measurement of 3 by 4 will have a hypotenuse of 5. Now, we won't get too technical, but this essentially means that the diagonal line of any 3 by 4 measurement has a diagonal of 5, only if the lines are 90 degrees to each other. If we have more than 5, then the lines have to close to make that square. If we have less than 5, the lines have to open to make that square. And this is a very powerful skill to know when applied. 345 can refer to any measurement and for simplification's sake you can use 30 by 40 inches with a diagonal of 50 inches, 3 by 4 feet with a diagonal of 5 feet, 300 inches by 400 inches with a diagonal of 500 inches. I think we get the gist of it, we can go up and up to 3000, 300,000 and so on. So any measurement of 3 by 4 and its multipliers for simplification's sake. All right, let's apply this to a real scenario. Let's say we want to measure out 400 inches here and we want another line that's exactly 90 degrees to this line. Now, it's important here because a tiny mistake at this intersection will multiply immensely over a long distance. So here, we're gonna use the 345 rule to essentially make a massive square to ensure we don't have any mistakes. We'll use two 100 foot tape measures and measure a straight line of 300 inches. Next, on the diagonal, we'll measure out 500 inches. Once we have these two measurements in our hand, we can use them to intersect them and pull them together. And just like that, we have a 90 degree angle. Now, despite that this is a major distance and there's a high likelihood for error, we now have a measurement that will very closely approximate 90 degrees over this very long distance. If you're interested in any of the tools shown in this video, there's Amazon links down below.